Welcome back to Binary Wonder. Today we're going to look at my Commodore 64 SD card reader. So if you remember in one of my past Commodore videos, I talked about an SD card reader. So here's an example of an SD card reader for Commodore 64. So this is, if you look at it, it's got kind of a modern sticker that's supposed to emulate what the Commodore 64 disk drive would have looked like. This interface is through the serial connection, and then it plugs into a card edge to get power, because obviously a Commodore or a SD card reader needs um, some sort of power, so it'll slide into this card edge and then go through the serial connection just like any other five and a quarter inch floppy drive. And what's great about this is obviously you can interface with modern computers. You can store a lot more than what would typically be on a normal five and a quarter inch Commodore disc. And uh, some of the modern Commodore games that are created like Hessian, which I'll show you again here, uh, when you buy it, they will obviously send you a five and a quarter inch Commodore disc, but they'll also give you the D64 file to, to download. And then if you download that over the internet, you put it on this uh, card, and then you can read it here as well. So I'll show you that in this video. But it's a great way to sort of interact with modern and original games for the Commodore without having to worry about discs wearing out, floppy drives wearing out, which obviously have a lot of moving parts. They can get dirty, that sort of thing. There are no obviously no moving parts in this SD card reader, and it's a solid state, so it'll last quite a bit time so I want to give you a demonstration of this and I hope you enjoy it so to get started you do load and then dollar sign comma 8 and it reads from the SD card reader you can type list and you can see the list of programs I have on my card so you have some d64 files which are primarily what we'll use to run and they also have this loading program. I'll load FB64. And what you'll see when we run it is it gives it more of a, not really a graphical user interface, but uh, a better navigation area than what you would normally do. So if we load Hessian, this is a great new game, relatively new game, last couple of years for Commodore 64 by Cytronic. It's actually downloadable once you buy it over the internet. So that's how I was able to get the D64 file to the SD card, like I mentioned. And this is a this is a really fun game. I haven't had a chance to put a lot of time into it, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a show here the the music as you can hear is is excellent and the gameplay is is good i think this really sort of pushes the commodore 64 to its limit so we'll start a new game gives you some background here of the story You can see the scrolling text at the bottom, and our contact immediately gets killed. So some of the controls take some getting used to. At least I can pick up this pistol. I'll need that. And then you start going through the side-scrolling levels. This is essentially a side-scrolling action game. There's another pistol there. I have not quite gotten used to the controls yet. So we'll just go ahead and explore some of the levels just so you can get a sense. There are these drones or these bots that are trying to attack me I can I can punch but for some reason I really can't use my pistol 
All right, well, that's Hessian. I wanted to give you an overview of that game, but also um, enjoy this collection of other Commodore 64 games that I, that I have that I enjoy playing. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. It's been a lot of fun putting it together. Please be sure to check out my other videos and subscribe as well. Thank you.